Josh Gardner's 19. He uses a wheelchair and he likes to keep active. And that includes flying away on holiday. I like going to Malaga just because it's, it's flat. Josh works as an apprentice at BBC Radio Leeds. Away from his job, when he goes abroad, he's concerned about loopholes in security for airline passengers using wheelchairs. I don't actually look at my chair at all. Um, they don't look underneath it, they don't look at the sides, they don't look in the pockets at their back, the front. Josh says he's had the same experience at airports across Europe, including Heathrow. We are testing his story by taking a trip from Leeds to the Spanish city of Malaga. This is what Josh is going to take in a zip-up storage bag under the front of his wheelchair. A half-litre bottle of water and a toolkit for his chair. The water bottle's a prohibited item. It will be up to security to inspect Josh's toolkit before deciding whether to allow it on board. Hi guys. At Leeds Bradford Airport, after we go into security, Josh is asked to bypass the scanner. While others go through the usual checks, he's taken to one side behind a security barrier. Josh was patted down and the outside of his chair was swabbed for explosives. We've been advised this check wouldn't necessarily detect a handgun or the contents of a sealed bottle. In full view of staff, Josh removes the container of hidden items from his own chair and puts it in his hand baggage. Remember, this bag under the front of his wheelchair hasn't been searched since we arrived at the airport. It could contain items useful for a terrorist. One expert says loopholes in the system play into the hands of terrorists. You could carry a handgun, uh, you could carry a knife, you could carry a device. Uh, the fact that he's in the wheelchair and he's asked if he can get up and says no, how do we know he's not lying? Leeds Bradford Airport has told us that they comply with and in fact exceed the relevant requirements for security. They said the wheelchair was swabbed for dangerous liquids and found to be negative and that a screwdriver and spanner as part of a standard wheelchair kit is permitted. They said the safety of the travelling public remains the airport's highest priority. Leeds Bradford said both the airport and the Civil Aviation Authority had carried out thorough investigations and that they could confirm that all regulatory requirements had been met. They said no action has been taken by the CAA against Leeds Bradford in respect of this matter. However, we've been told the CAA have not completed their investigation. They've said they'll take corrective action if required. Paul Murphy, BBC Look North.